Hello, and welcome to r slash choosing beggars. Our first story is by Exciting Swordfish 56 Life as a Flea Market Worker. I help my parents sell company return items in a flea market, and I wanted to share some of the most annoying and funny interactions, even though items are labeled as returns and sometimes they can be overstocked or canceled orders and they are still sealed or in pristine condition. I always test the item before I bring them to the market or I sell them dirt cheap and inform the customer that I do not know the condition of the item. This one happened today and I didn't really know what to say to her. Karen was looking at the headphones I was selling and see that I have Apple iPods and she asked me if they were real and I told her that the ones she was pointing were real and I and I have fake ones on the other side. Some people don't want to spend that much on a headphone which is understandable which is why I have the fake ones. She looked at me disgusted and said ew I don't want those fake ones. How, how much are the real ones? I told her that they were $80, and she got pissed for some reason. She said, word by word, No headphones should be that expensive. $20, take it or leave it. At this point, I was kind of annoyed, because I live in Texas, and it is not fun to spend 8 plus hours in the heat and argue with stupid people. I told her that, I sell the fake ones for that much, and there's no way I'm, I am selling them for $20. FYI, the AirPods were second generation ones, and they were open box new. The wrapping paper around the headphones were still there, and it had three months of warranty left. She ugged and started to look at the other headphones I have. I saw the Powerbeats Pro, which were the second most expensive headphones I have. The first one being Sony WH-1000XM4s. She asked me if I could do 20 for that one. I told her that since they are still sealed, I am asking $150 for those, and she had a shocked face. She left angrily and didn't see her again, fortunately. Sorry for the bad formatting. English isn't my first language. I know it isn't very entertaining, but I have at least 30, 40 stories like that. Let me know if you want to hear them. First off, uh, I want to say, uh, let me reread that a bit. English is it? Okay, so. OP here says that English isn't her first language or his first language. OP, your English seems good to me, so yeah, that's that that sucks that it happens. I I know what it's like. Like we have flea markets around here, and I have set up shop at flea markets before, and it's you, you get people. It's not just flea like it's not just flea markets, but even things like yard sales, garage sales rummage sales, whatever it is you want to call them. Basically, people don't want to pay. Obviously, like, no problem, you know, I, or, I, I don't have a problem negotiating a price, right? But it's like, you can have an item listed at, like, say, $75, and on market, whatever, the item actually goes for 100 so, but then, no, they don't want to pay 75 they want to pay even less than that. You know, it's like, uh, choosing beggar, like, I'm already charging way less than what's actually, the item actually goes for. And then at yard sale, whatever, you know, you'll, basically, people don't want to pay anything above a dollar at yard sales. Our next story is by Accomplished Sign 265 Choosing beggar asked me to pay her to do her hair for pageant. I went to high school with Shooting Beggar. I wouldn't call us close, but we occasionally hung out in the same 
friend group for a little backstory. I do hair and makeup for formal events such as proms and weddings on the side. I am not licensed and since I am pretty good at it, I tend to get asked by a lot of close friends and family to do hair and makeup for their events. I enjoy doing hair more so than makeup due to the amount of work and cost. Choosing Beggar recently contacted me and a change went something like this. This occurred on Snapchat. Choosing Beggar. Hey girl, it's been so long. We need to hang out soon. Definitely. I was also going to see if you were available in a couple of weeks to do my makeup. I'm entering into a pageant and I would love for you to do it. I am so sorry girl, I won't be able to. I haven't been taking on many makeup jobs recently due to the high cost, so my kit is not up to par. I have been focusing more on hair since this is not my main job. And that's fine. Would you be interested in doing my hair? Definitely. I have to make sure I am free that day and I will let you know. Alright, it looks like I'm available. Three days later. Hey girl, I just found a makeup artist to do my makeup. Perfect. That is amazing. Will you send over the money for the hair and makeup application? Hair and makeup application? They have a fee of $350 for the application to do my hair. A makeup artist is charging me a lot of money to do my makeup. So I figured you would be alright paying the fee. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested. I know we haven't discussed our pricing yet, but I wasn't planning on doing this for free. Since I would have to request off work to be able to make it, I wish I could help you, but I have my wedding coming up soon and cannot afford any extra expenses. But you get so much exposure! It is such a great opportunity! You would be stupid to turn this down! I'm sorry, but I am not interested. F you! I can't wait to tell everyone, our mutual friend group, how selfish you are. Don't ever message me again. Blocked. My friends later messaged me about it. I explained what happened, and we all had a good laugh. Like the very well-known popular Reddit story reader r slash as you can see after each story i tried to put some kind of input and put a story maybe tell a story that you know in response of my own to the story i just read i i don't really but I, I, i'm trying to so it means I'm, I'm trying to think of something i really don't have anything that relates to this. I mean, kind of, but at the same time, not really. I'm not going to go into it. Choosing beggar, what, what is your problem? Why do you think OP should pay for your hair and makeup thing? Application. What is that about a hair and makeup application? Was I even reading that right? Hold up here. I swear it said application. Yes, it did say application. What? What is that? I'm, I'm confused. What is a makeup application? What? I've never heard of a makeup application. That was r slash choosing beggars. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to support the channel, I have a Patreon. I have a $1 tier and a $3 tier. $1 tier, you get your name on a card. That appears at the end and beginning of each video. Your name also goes into the, the description of the video. $3 tier. Same thing. However, I will also shout out your name. And in the description, along with your name, I will add one link of your choice to one of your social medias. If you like to buy a t-shirt or a mug, a, a flag, a sweatshirt, or whatever. Consider checking out my Streamlabs merch shop. I also have a Redbubble with a few things on that as well. Or if you just feel like donating, just 
for whatever, but don't really want anything in, re in return, then just consider donating through Streamlabs. I also have a fiver. If you want to, feel free to commission me to draw your own original OC. Starting at $10, I will draw your OC's head. $15, I'll draw the top half of their body. And $25, I will draw their whole body. All three of them are all fully colored and shaded. And I do do revisions or whatever. If you want me to, if you don't like the first drawing, I will redraw it. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Good night. And dust it down ya. Yeah.